And Kelly's court is back in session on the docket today. Is a murder charge appropriate in this case? Joining me now, Mercedes Colwin. She's a Fox News legal analyst. And Mark Eiglar, who's a former prosecutor, now defense attorney. I mean, it's a, it's a heartbreaking case. Uh, you can only imagine what this poor father went through seeing it happen. His 12-year-old and his 11-year-old mowed down by a drunk uh, driver. Right. And let's assume for the purposes of just this question that he did it, that he went back and got the gun and shot that guy to death. Is murder the right charge, Mark? Yes, it is. And let me just first say, I feel extraordinary compassion for what he went through. I can't imagine, I don't want to imagine what it would be like to lose two sons. I have two sons. My oldest is the same age as the one that he lost, mm -hmm. one of the ones he lost. Oh my God. So my first inclination would want to be to kill someone who did any harm to my child. But that being said, by law, without question, it's murder. You don't get to act like you're in the wild, wild west and act as judge, jury, and executioner. Now, where do you factor in the facts and circumstances is in sentencing. You can use all of that to mitigate and perhaps get a much different sentence, a very low sentence compared to those who are accused of the same crime under different circumstances. Mm -hmm. But you've got to prosecute them. You Merce just do. Mercedes, this guy, not only were his 11-year-old and 12-year-old boy killed, but his wife, his eight-year-old daughter and his three-month-old oh. son were in the truck yep. that the drunk driver hit. So the guy endangers his entire family, right. including his little baby, his eight-year-old girl. His two boys die right in front of him. One died right in front of him. One died short time thereafter. You tell me, murder? I mean, I can't believe... Uh, first of all, I think it's overcharging. If you're going to charge him with something, look at something lesser, because that's what's going to happen with the jury. If you overcharge, that jury's going to say, you know what, we can't actually blame this person. Even preparing for this today, I can't tell you how many people said, if I were faced with that same sort of circumstance, I would have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Diminished capacity. He didn't realize. Temporary insanity. These are all the buzzwords that are out there on the Internet. There are all these emails that are flowing back and forth about this particular incident. Everyone's shocked and everyone said, you know what? He, this man, that driver was a child killer. He was drunk. Twice the legal limit. God, yeah, I would have done the same thing. This is justice served. What about that, Mark? What, what about charging the father, the, the, the bereaved father, with a manslaughter charge? In the same way sometimes they'll charge a, a spouse with manslaughter if you know, that he finds out the wife is cheating and he kills her in the heat of passion. Well, I think that they can and ultimately offer him a deal where they reduce the charge to manslaughter and then, then there's a lot of different options available. But it is technically murder. And it's for the defense to argue some wonderful arguments like Mercedes was making, diminished capacity, or even get a jury. And if you're going to find one, it's going to be in Texas, who will just kind of give a jury pardon and say, you know what? As they say in Texas, he needed to be, yeah, he needed to be killed. Right. I was in, I had a case in Texas. They said, well, did he need to be killed? I was like, what? <laughs> That's how many That's what's going to happen. There. <laughs> well, I mean, in some cases where there's, it's self-defense, you, sure. you can make that argument. That's not available to him under these circumstances. But Mercedes Mark raises a good point. The definition of murder, right. the, the, just murder, what she's been right. charged with in Texas is intentionally or knowingly causing the death of another. I mean, that, that, if, if he is. did this, how do you get out of and that? And that's where capacity comes in. But, but let me ask you, because sure. this, the, the charge, I mean, the sentence he would be facing if he get, gets convicted of this first degree felony is between five and 99 years. So why isn't Mark right that this just comes in, the mitigation comes in in terms of the sentencing? So, I truly believe that this, if he takes a stand, or obviously they're going to make this legal argument, this, they're going to say he was so temporarily insane by what just occurred, he couldn't make that distinction in his head. There was no intent to murder. He wasn't thinking clearly. That's where diminished capacity comes in. And there have been and that juries argument. that those juries have actually acquitted on, those, on that That's basis. That's interesting, Mercedes. So you think, you, if you're the defense attorney, you go for straight acquittal. I you say do. temporarily insane, not, not accountable for his actions. I think you're absolutely right, Megan, because looking at these circumstances and just talking to people preparing for this today, everyone had the same thought, oh my God, this man had to have been temporarily insane, mm -hmm. watching what happened to his children. What about, the, what about the guy who was shot, Mark? I mean, there's obviously not going to be any charges against him because he's... he's been killed. But is there any legal right. liability for his family based on his actions in, in you know, this vehicular manslaughter at least? Interesting. Could the family be held responsible for anything that he did? I don't know. He had any assets, any sort of an estate. Civilly, he no, could. But, but, they but, they but would definitely sue his estate. They could but, sue but his for estate what? for that. In other words, wrongful death. But, but, for those two well, children, if, it's if, wrongful death, Mark. That's what they would sue for. 
They would sue his. I mean, what assets is a 20-year-old who drives a Malibu like in the? Yeah, I know. Uh, probably <laughs> none. But that's if there's some if there's some insurance, that's yeah. exactly what they would sue. They if if there is insurance, it. I su I suppose I suppose. But they this say is his just blood tragic. alcohol content was at 0.175. Uh, and there is Maybe, still a question about something? there is still a question about whether he's he was actually guilty because they haven't found the gun. They're, well, they're, that's well I was going to throw that out. I know. Well, wait, I let me throw that out. What if what if what if they used an alcoholic swab to secure his blood? And oh I my gosh, it turns that. out he wasn't impaired. I got to go. I Thank you, know, you very that's much. That's why you don't have. To